Hello my gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine. So how I take my makeup off and what kind of product I use on daily basis before I go to bed. So if you guys are interested, please keep watching. So the first thing I normally do is just like you have to take your makeup off. And for that one, I use uh, Shurumura cleansing oil. So this is the one, the Sublime Beauty cleansing oil. This is what it's look like. Um, I bought it last year during Christmas, so this is why it's in limited edition. So yeah, this is what it's look like, and I actually really really like it. And if I'm like a little bit lazy, because uh, using oil, like if you're taking if you're using it in the shower, it's really good, but it can be messy over the sink and all that. So if I don't really feel like using oil, then I'll clean my face with muscle and water. So I normally use the Garnier one. So this is the Garnier muscle and water. This is like one of my favorite. I have sensitive skin. I have no issue with it. It's just like take all of your makeup and to remove your makeup, you just like use cotton pads. And the third thing I use, not on regular basis, but every now and then, it's the face halo. This is what it's look like. So you just like basically dip it in the water and it just like take your makeup off. And um, yeah, so these are the three kind of type things I use to take my makeup off it just depends on my mood but most recently I've been using like the cleansing oil pretty much every single day um so that's that so what I'll do is I'll just like probably do like kind of a run over like what kind of products I use so I do have sensitive skin um and dry it, it is a little bit combination from last summer um but yeah, I think it's getting better now. It's not as oily as it used to be. So it's pretty much is like my skin is really, really dry. Um, and for my, after like um, removing my makeup, I'll just go with the, um, either like a cleansing milk, which I've been using the Aveen one. So this is the cleansing milk. I really like it. It's really good for sensitive skin. Make your face feel like nice and smooth. Just recently I just started using it. It's from Lancome. And this is their gentle cleansing gel. This is what it looks like. I actually loving this one. It's like really good. It smells really nice. And then your face feels so clean. I mean like, yeah, I've been loving it. If you guys haven't tried it, you should try it. It's really, really good. Um, so that's that. Here I have it from Dr. Levins and this is their glycolic cleanser. I don't use it like, um, I don't use it every day. It does say like you can use it day and night time. And I don't use it like after removing my makeup. I, I feel like it does not remove my makeup properly. Like after going with the cleansing oil, I'll just use it like after either like milk cleanser or like after double cleansing i'll go with this one but i don't use it every day the only thing i don't like about it is just like the smell of it i'm not a fan of it Alrighty, and after that oh so after that i'll tone my skin which is like i will use the clinic clarifying lotion and this is what it's look like it's the number two um one because i think they have number three and one as well if i'm not wrong i've been using this one and i've been really really liking it i mean like if you have discoloration or anything like that and you need to brighten up your texture um this is really good another one i was using was the mario badescu one um i finished that one i've been using that one like for years so i was like oh i just want to try something else just for a change and yeah i bought this one and i really really like it Alright, so I'll talk about like other products a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my makeup. So what I'll do is I'll probably like remove half of my makeup with the face halo just to give you guys a little bit of demo like how does it work. So I'm just going to dip this one into the water. That's it. It's now, now it's damp. So I'm just going to rub it on my face. So I'll just gonna use it on the half side of my face <coughs> and it's very easy to clean as well like you just like need any bar of soap and then it just like good as new and then to remove from my eyes I'm just gonna hold it a little bit on, around my eyes <coughs> so that I'm not like pulling my skin and then I'm just gonna 
go gently. Alrighty, so this is what the face hair will look like. So I'm gonna go with the other side on the same side of my face. I feel like you don't really need specific this face hair to remove your makeup. Um, you can use any face towel, it will work as good as this one. Alrighty, so this is the one side and this is the other side. And now I'm going to go with the cleansing oil. I'm just going to take two pumps. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but yeah, this is just like clear oil. Oh, it's funny like how I'm going to use it on one side. Now I'm just going to use it all over my face. I just wanted to show you guys like how face hello works. So I'm just like... Massaging it into my face. I have a blush. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Just like pretty much damp my hands with water. And then it's going to become this milky kind of texture. And I'm just going to wash my face. Yeah, after washing my face, I'm just going to go with the uh, Lancome Cleansing Gel. I'm just going to take a little bit because you only need like that much. You don't even need much product. And I'm just going to rub it in my skin. And after that, I'm just going to go with my Vanity Planet face brush. And then use another water. I don't do that every day. I'll just like do it twice or three times a week. And I'm just going to move around my face. Just going to change the settings. It says that you can use it every day, but I just don't because I have sensitive skin and it doesn't work on my skin. So the only brush work on my skin is the silicone one. The other ones are like really harsh on my skin. Alrighty, after that, I'm just gonna wash the brush and I'm gonna wash my face. I'm just gonna wipe my face. Alrighty, so after that, I'm just gonna go with the toner and the uh, I just normally keep my um, cotton pads here. I'm just going to take one of them. And I'll just go with like four times. Like that. The thing I don't like about this toner, it's like it heavily smells like alcohol. So that's the only downside. But I think I got used to it now. And then I'm just going to rub it on my neck. So see, I mean like, it's, it's, it's not a good look, but even like after cleansing your face twice, you will still have a little bit of makeup residue left on your face. So if you will use a toner, it will like pep your skin for all the products you're going to put it on your face as well as it's going to remove any makeup left on your face. So you should be using a toner. It's really good. So the first thing I'm going to use is from Lancome and that's their Advanced Genific Sensitive Double Concentrate. And this is what it's look like. So this product you should be using like on and off. So you buy it, you use it, and then you have a break of like for three to four months. And then after that, you again start using it. I've been using it for two months. They say that you should finish it within two months, but I don't know. I'm not able to finish it because you don't need much. So I'm just going to have like this much. And uh, just going to apply it on my face and my neck. And whenever you're applying anything on your neck, you make sure you like you're massaging upwards, not downwards. And 
And another serum I have is from Chorus and this is what it looks like. Um, it's their Wild Rose Brightening and Line Soothing Serum. It's like the best serum. If you have sensitive skin, if you have irritated skin, anything like that, this is like my, one of my favorite. This serum cannot be replaced with any other serum because it's that good. If you have like itchy skin or anything like that, you know, you do shaving your skin like bonds or anything like that, you use this. It's just very soothing. It just soothes your skin. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. you go to the store and ask for a sample because you will love this stuff because I have already hooked like four of my friends to this. It's that good. So yeah, I don't think so anything can replace this serum because it helps brighten your skin. It's very lightweight. It's very soothing on your skin. So I do use this one as well. But at the moment, I've been using the Lancome one. And because I'm trying to finish it, like within the next month or so so that's why i'm pretty much using this one every day and this is really good if you're looking for like even out your skin you have any skin texture and all that it's really really good Alrighty, so after the serum i'm going to go with my eye serum and this is the one from lancome as well and this is the advanced genetic light pearl and this is what it's look like um yeah i've been struggling with dark circles I mean, like for years, I don't know if they're going to go away. Um, this serum is like highly recommended. It's like, this serum is like targeted towards dark circles. Um, my dark circles has gone light, like very light at the moment because it's disappeared from here to here. Now it's only like left in this area since I started using this serum. So I'm just, I'm just like praying that one day I will have no dark circles. But yeah, but I've been liking this serum. I actually quite enjoying it. So I'm just gonna massage it underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna go with my ring finger, which has like the least pressure. And I'm just gonna dab it underneath my eyes. And I normally go around my eyes as well, on my eyelids. Technically you're not supposed to apply anything on your eyelids, but yeah, whatever I normally do. Right, and after that serum, I'm gonna go with the, the Lancome Advanced Jennifer Youth Activating Concentrate, which look like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use probably like two pumps. Have it around my hands. I'm gonna apply it on my face on my neck and on my chest area. Because normally, we tend to forget our chest area, but this area age as well. So whenever you're applying a cream, a serum, or anything like that, make sure you apply it on your neck and as well as on your chest area. Alrighty, and the last thing I'm gonna use is uh, the moisturizer. This is from Skin Iceland. This is their Oxygen Infusion Night Cream. And this is what it's look like. And I'm just gonna take some on my hand that much and then a little bit I'm gonna apply it on my neck and on my chest area. I'm just gonna rub it around my hands. And then after applying it for my forehead, I'm gonna go upwards like that. And then for my face, I'm going to go like this. So you kind of like massage your face. For my chin, I look like, I'm not making funny faces, but. And then you just lift your face like that. And then I'm just going to rub it and my neck. Okay, so this is pretty much all the product I use. Uh, ignore if my uh, neck and chest has turned red because it normally does. If we even like, I rub it just a little bit because I do have like really, really sensitive skin. So just ignore that. Alrighty, and for my lips, I always use this uh, lip balm from Mecca Maxima. And this is what it's looked like. It's like night lip treatment. 
So and and it's my and it's my favorite. So I'm just gonna apply it on my lips. And another thing I do use it's like overnight peels, and the one I use is from Drunk Califan, and this is their uh, glycolic night serum. So you just apply it before applying anything else on your face and then you leave it overnight and then it's kind of like exfoliate your skin. And I actually really like it because it just like bring all the gunk and all that uh, from underneath your skin to the top of your skin. So yeah, that's that. And another one I use, it's from Dr. Lewis and this is their corrective skin peel. Um, but you, I normally use like once a week because I do have sensitive skin so it's recommended like using twice a week but if I'm using this for the one week then I'll use this one for another week so yeah I do use these two and the last thing it's I do have like some burning marks on my hands so I've been using bio oil so before I go to bed I normally like like rub a little bit of bio oil on my hands um, they have lightened up a lot. I just stopped using it actually, but it takes lots of time. I mean, like I've been using more than a year, but I start I stopped using it for probably like last last three to four months. But it does work. So if you were like, you have to be very patient and you have to be constant with it. Um, and the last thing, it's this. This is from uh, Body Shop, and this is their British Rose Butter. And then I'm just gonna apply it on my hands and I just keep this body butter and the lip balm just next to my bed so that before I go to bed I just all like always remember to apply it all right guys so this is what my skin look like after applying all the products as you can see and I'm only using bathroom light. I do not have any artificial lights or anything like that in my bathroom. So, yeah, so this is what my skin look like. All right, my gorgeous. So that's like my skincare routine. So this is all the products I use on daily basis. Do let me know what kind of product you guys use. You guys do have a routine or not and if I have mentioned any products or anything like that if you have used it and what was your experience with it um and yeah if you have and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section down below and um I will be more than happy to answer those and if you guys don't follow me on my social media all of my social media links are in the description bar below um my instagram my snapchat everything um come say hi i would love to talk to you guys and until then i will see you guys in my next video bye gorgeous